Hi everyone, Jeremy Simon here with 3D Universe. Today we're going to be making some custom chocolate molds using our Make You Form Box, which is an affordable desktop vacuum forming machine. I'm really excited about this because I don't usually get chocolate, so I volunteered for this project. Now we're going to be using some 3D printed objects today that you see on the side here. We created these using Tinkercad, just some basic shapes that we'll use as a form to create our mold for the chocolates. Over on the other side, you can see a couple of different types of sheets that come with the machine. There's the form sheets and the cast sheets. The cast sheets are food safe, so we're going to be using those today for the chocolate mold. We've got a couple of different types of chocolate, the semi-sweet here and the white chocolate. We'll use some of both. So let's get started. We're going to turn on the machine, get it preheating, and then we can make our mold. Okay, now with the cast sheets, there is a thin uh, protective layer of plastic on each sheet that needs to come off. So we need to be sure to take that off before we use our cast sheet. Then we're going to set it aside, but keep that clean. Okay, right here we have a indicator light that's currently blinking, yellow or orange. Once that goes solid green, that means that the heater is up to temperature. At that point, we can put our cast sheet on and make our mold. Okay, so now the form box is up to temperature. I'm going to put our cast sheet on the lower tray, right on the rubber seal. I'm going to lower the top tray, lock them together, and raise them so that it starts to heat. And quickly, I'm going to arrange my objects where I want them. And then we watch when the material is drooping down about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch, and it's just about there now, we can then lower this down slowly. As you could hear, the form box automatically turned on our vacuum cleaner. We're using a small shop vac here for this and turned it off when it was finished. Now we'll lift the top tray and our form is done. Carefully take it out here. Now we're just going to let that cool fully and then we'll take our objects out and we should have a mold that's ready to use. Okay, our chocolate is melted, so it's time to make our chocolates. We're going to start with the white. Now, if I was a professional chocolatier, I'm sure I would be piping this in or something fancy like that, but we're just going to try to spoon it in. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up for you. Well, that looks passable. Okay, on to our semi-sweet chocolate. I say making a mess is half the fun. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and stick this in the freezer till they chill, and then we should be able to pop them right out of the mold. Okay, well, here we go. These are the chocolates that we got. Uh, I'm sure they'll taste fine. They could be a little prettier. I, I think the, the main lesson that I learned from this is I would probably make the objects a little bit larger next time. Working with such tiny little pieces is, is pretty difficult. With the, with the chocolate, it tends to, to break when you're trying to get it out of the mold. So I think larger shapes would probably be easier to work with. But it was a fun little project, and I'm going to enjoy these chocolates no matter how they look. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please like it and subscribe to our channel to see more like it. See you next time.